Hello guys, welcome to Prime Tech Automotive YouTube channel. I got Mitsubishi CVT transmission here today. I'm going to see what's wrong with the CVT transmission, what's happening inside. So this is 2016 Mitsubishi Outlander four wheel drive. So we've seen a lot uh, Mitsubishi Nissan sharing the um, same transmission, which is made by Jetco. Um, so the fall code was uh, P01590, P0969, and P0776. They, they are the most fall, most common fall codes. So I'm just going to remove this, disassemble this transmission and see what's wrong with it. So I pull the torque converter out. So I've seen the chain broken and also uh, bearing failures on these transmissions. But see what's wrong we'll see what's wrong with this transmission this car towed into my workshop and uh, it wasn't um, drivable so from my experience I can't say these are common issues but many transmissions being failed possible failure manufacturing failure or lack of uh, service maintenance issues wrong oil being used sort of thing so um, I've seen people doing servicing on this transmission but they never um, replacing the filter um, on W1CJA model transmission which is CVT Four wheel drive there is a there are two filters one in the sump fitted to the valve body and there's another filter near the oil cooler which is i'm gonna show you guys um in a minute so you can buy these two filters separate if you're doing the service replace them and if you can service this transmission at least every forty five thousand kilometers using genuine fluid either mitsubishi um, J1 or J4 as per the manufacturer specs or the Nissan CVT fluid if you're, if you're servicing a Nissan um, CVT transmission. So this four-wheel drive transmission which is W1CJA and the two-wheel drive transmission which is W1C1A they, they're both made by Jetco. So Mitsubishi and Nissan is most vehicles sharing this transmission this is the filter i was talking about replace this one guys like every time you service the transmission so i'm just removing the bell housing now and that way um, you can access to the uh, front differential and the um, oil pump area i'm not going to disassemble the oil pump but i'm just going to remove the uh, differential gears and just inspect or could not see any damages on differential gears so here i'm going to remove the valve body next So that's where the valve body is so i would say it's, here's one piece i found oh that might be the problem so we'll see what where that come from and what's broken so that's the internal filter i was talking about earlier 
So the valve body is the brain of this transmission. So that controls everything inside the transmission. So according to your driving style, so what um, gear it should be, where I should um, push the transfer, the fluid. So those things are um, done by the valve body. There are solenoids and some electrical components like a like temporary sensor and stuff. So I'm not going to go through all those things. So my main purpose was what's wrong with this transmission, why um, it it fails. So all right, guys, so I'm going to remove the, the back cover of the transmission. That's where the CVT police uh, are fitted. There are, I think, eight, about about eight, 12 mil bolts that fitted the pulley. So once you've done that, you can uh, separate the back housing. Talking about the CVT police, there are two uh, police, one called uh, primary pulley and the secondary pulley, the other one called. Here it is, guys. So this is this piece is come from the actual CVT belt. Uh, so the one of the belt component broken. So this might be the reason why this car has no drive. So simply how this CVT works by looking at those police. So power or torque increase or decrease by changing the radius of the secondary pulley as i mentioned one pulley is primary and the other other pulley is secondary so and also it's called driven pulley and the other one called driver drive pulley so that was the problem so as i mentioned earlier so i've seen those cvt belt completely collapse inside the transmission and those bearing was broken as well on some other transmissions but this one here it didn't go to that that damage but this piece has come out from so this is internal component of the um, the actual CVT belt that was broken and um, so it no longer operationable so that's why the the transmission failed and the car broke down so here's the simple things guys that I, I want to show why this Mitsubishi transmissions fail a lot. So ASX Lancers, Outlander. Thank you for watching.